Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'd like to show you guys how to use and what Microsoft Edge favorites are. So a favorite is a link or uh, basically a link to a page that you save inside of the Microsoft Edge browser. And in order to save a link to a page, and by link I'm talking about the URL address that you have in the search bar up here, you click over here on this little star, which will say add to favorites or reading list. So you click that and you can save it in a, a folder. Um, by default, you have the favorites and then you have the favorites bar, uh, which are two folders, but the favorites bar are actually able to be shown by having a little bar pop up below here where you can quickly access those different links. So whenever you save a favorite by clicking that, you give it a name, and you save it in a folder. You can also create new folders in addition to this. So right now I will add this to the favorites bar. So click add. And we know that this page is saved because the star lights up and it's now golden, but we don't have the favorites bar showing. So the favorites bar can be accessed by clicking on the three dots in the top right hand corner, go down to settings, and there's going to be a slider button for show the favorites bar, we want to toggle that on to on, and now we have the favorites bar. So if you don't have any favorites saved yet, uh, yet it might say that to uh, actually add items here, you have to move your favorites into the favorites bar folder. You can see here that we already have one here, but uh, if you click here, you can see all your favorites um, in this little side panel, and we can drag and drop any of the favorites we've saved into the favorites bar. So if I want this to appear in the favorites bar, I just uh, I drag it over the favorites bar and that should make it pop down below. Okay, there we go. So now we have two links, one to bing.com uh, and another one to a very specific search query that we did on Bing. So uh, this is a link not just to the website, but the website with a search query. And you can tell by the length of this URL that it would be very hard to go ahead and manually type this in. So it's good to save pages that are kind of nested or hard to find so that you always have access to them exactly how you saw them before, just by clicking on one of these favorites links on site of, inside of your favorites bar. So another thing you can do with your favorites is to create new folders. So if you go over here and you right click, you can create a new folder. You can also do that on the favorites bar directly, right click it and hit create new folder. And when you do that, it's going to have this little Windows folder icon and you type in a name of the folder. So <laughs> I'm going to call this folder the favorites of the favorites. So this is my favorite favorites. And I'm going to drag this little uh, favorites link into that folder. So drag it in and then it's now nested within the favorites of favorites and we can still access it in the exact same way, except that now it's organized. So now we can take a whole bunch of these different links, pop them inside of a folder, and we can have a bunch of different drop-down folders. You can manage hundreds of uh, favorite links if you so choose. Now, if at any time you decide you don't want a favorite, there's a couple ways to remove it. One is to click to open the favorite up, and then click over here on the golden favorite star and hit delete. Another one is going to be to click on the hub, which is that side panel, find the favorite you don't want anymore, right click it, and hit delete. Now you may have noticed earlier that when you add something to the favorites, you also have the option to add it to uh, the reading list, which we can pop up over here on the hub. You can see stay on top of your reading, click in the address bar on the star to save an article to read later. So if you want to manage articles uh, to read later, Rather than just saving links in general, you may choose to put it on the reading list instead. So here we have a random article from Softpedia. I'm going to click to add it, and instead I'm going to click over here on the right tab to add it over here, and we will add it as an article to read. So add there, and now we can open it up later on. So you can see the first thing you'll see after installing Windows 10 Mobile Creators. It even gives us the uh, main image or one of the images off of that article. We can even see the day where we added this to the reading list so that we know which ones have been in our backlog for a while and which ones we have only recently added. But being that the focus of this video is on favorites, uh, since I've shown you how to create folders in favorites, how to add and remove favorites, 
Uh, and what they are, that's just about everything you need to know to get started using favorites in Microsoft Edge. Uh, if you decide you want to use Firefox or Chrome bookmarks, which are the equivalent of Microsoft Edge favorites, uh, you can check out my uh, previous videos from the last two days, as I just covered those as well. But aside from that, I've been Chris. Thanks for watching this video, and hopefully I'll see you guys in my future video content.